Okay, I apologize for the noise in the background. I've got a printer going. Um, so here's what I do because I find that sometimes the knife tool, I have to mess with it just a little bit too much. So I go to this draw a square or rectang rectangle and I make my own rectangle and I can size it however I want it by using these handles if I want it thicker or thinner. And let me, let me fill that in so it's just a little bit easier to see. And I'll zoom in just a little bit too. Um, so what I do, and what I did to zoom, is I held down the Alt key and used my scroll wheel to move it forward or backward to zoom in or out. Um, but then you can move this where you want it, and you can see that it lines up on this font that I selected. Um, it lines up with part of it at the bottom, but not at the top. Um, you can use this green handle to kind of rotate that, or you can edit the points to make that a little bit straight. So I, I'll show you um, both. So <clears throat> to yeah, so rotate it just by clicking and dragging it. And you can see that it's just a little bit straighter. And then you can use your arrows on your keyboard to move it left, right, up, down. And then what I do, <clears throat> excuse me, is I use the, I think it's the subtract tool. So I highlight everything so you can see it has the little lines and the boxes around it. I come up here to modify and I choose subtract. And because I'm zoomed in quite a bit, it took a little bit, but you can see now that that created a bridge and if I zoom in just a little bit more, you can see how it has that jagged line. If you double click on that, you'll see these gray boxes all around your lines. And those are the points that you can actually edit. And you can click on them to turn the line red. That means you have that one selected. So I'm just gonna zoom out just a little bit more. And then you can delete the point, and then that makes that straight again. So, you know, it's a little bit advanced, but it gets you what you want, basically. And I, I like that a lot better than using the knife tool or the eraser, which some I feel causes the software to not respond a lot more than, you know, what you just saw in this little video here. So hopefully that helps. And if you have any other questions, just let me know.